Question 16.55, solid silver nitrate is slowly added to solution that contains 0.2 molar chloride, 0.15 molar bromide. Uh, what is the bromide concentration when silver chloride starts to precipitate, given the KSP of both silver chloride and silver bromide? So silver nitrate is a strong electrolyte, so it ionizes completely in solution. So what we're looking at is I have silver nitrate, <clears throat> going into solution to produce nitrate and silver. At the same time, I are already in solution. I have chloride and bromide. So at the same time, I'm going to consider in solution, I've got the equilibrium that will eventually occur. When I add enough silver to that solution, I would form solid silver chloride, and I would form solid silver bromide. And they give us the KSP for both of those, the KSP for silver chloride, 1.8 times 10 to the minus 10, KSP for silver bromide, 5 times 10 to the minus 13. So based on the KSP values, Silver bromide has a smaller KSP, so it is less soluble. So it should precipitate, it will precipitate first from solution. So what they're asking is, okay, what concentration of bromide would be left in solution when silver chloride starts to precipitate? So we have to do two different calculations. The first calculation is gonna revolve around silver chloride and finding what is the concentration of silver needed to start to precipitate silver chloride. Once we find that value, then we're gonna use that value in our second calculation to say, okay, what would the concentration of bromide be in solution when I have this much silver um, in solution? So our first one, will, our first calculation will revolve around silver chloride. So, right, our KSP equals the concentration of silver times the concentration of chloride my KSP is 1 times 10 to the minus 10. My concentration of silver is my unknown. My concentration of chloride is 0.2 molar. Divide both sides by 0.2. Divide both sides by 0.2. And my concentration of silver, when silver chloride starts to precipitate, would be 9 times 10 to the minus 10 molar. So now I want to do that calculation for silver bromide, where KSP equals silver times the concentration of bromide to see, okay, at 9 times 10 to the minus 10 molar silver, what concentration of bromide do I have in solution? So I would use that KSP for silver bromide, 5 times 10 to the minus 13. Now, given this concentration of silver, 9 times 10 to the minus 10. What is the concentration of bromide I would have in solution? Um, so now we divide both sides by 9 times 10 to the minus 10 to find our concentration of bromide in solution. And so that concentration comes out to be about 5 0.6 times 10 to the minus 4 molar. So yes, because I started with 0.15 molar bromide, um, it would start to precipitate first, but we can still find, based on that KSP, based on that value, what would the concentration of bromide be at the point where silver chloride starts to precipitate. And you could see that based on comparing those two numbers, yeah, quite a bit of the bromide has already participated, precipitated as silver bromide at the time that silver chloride starts to precipitate from solution.